micromanaging 101. I am an amused bystander to this. I was working on a compliance project at the time. The practice had once consisted of a single compliance officer. But the company had grown and responsibilities had been split up into multiple departments. The person who had once run the entire practice alone was having a hard time handing off responsibilities to the newly created departments and would find petty ways to claw back control at any time. This person would also panic about investigations that could prove that previous work had not been done consistently, so would revise procedures, definitions, department requirements, etc., to suit whatever agenda happened to be at play. Sometimes this meant ignoring important things. Sometimes this meant filing you necessary reports. Things changed on a weekly basis. For some unfathomable reason, this person was very concerned about in-person coverage. This entire department had worked remotely throughout COVID. All other departments continued to work remotely. This department had to be in the office. Period. To make things worse. Working hours were defined as 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a one-hour break. On multiple occasions, this person would complain claiming someone had mentioned that the department was deserted before 5 p.m. on Fridays, the day before holidays, etc. Face with rolling eyes didn't matter that staff was working around 60 hours. Also didn't matter that there was nobody there to complain as this was the only department on site. There were duties, which occasionally required someone to be on call until 6 or 7 p.m. On-call staffers suggested that the person responsible could start late on those days. But no. The workday starts at 8 a.m. No exceptions. The two hourly staffers took 23-hour lunch breaks so that they could still cover the required 8 a.m. Start date. Be available until 7 p.m and still meet their new requirements. The salary-exempt staff wasn't having any of it though. Calls were no longer answered. Because staff was to work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And there was to be no flexibility regarding attendance. Staff got tired of this. And mutually agreed to give this person exactly what they asked for. They started sending group texts of their work lock screens showing that they were at their desks at 8 a.m. They'd send texts showing that their computers had been locked at 5.01 p.m. I was, briefly, on this text chain and had to mute it due to the barrage of daily petty texts. The individual in question intended to mean that staff had to be there at least between those hours. Unpaid OT was totally reasonable. But there was to be no concession made to allow staff some flexibility in the way they split up their working hours. That couldn't be said for obvious reasons. So they harped on the 5 p.m. minimum end to workdays. As you can imagine, this was followed by a wave of resignations. Over a six-month period, the department collapsed, leaving them with less staff than they had before the expansion. Great for us. We ended up winning a lucrative contract to manage and rebuild their entire practice. The staffer responsible for this great resignation was found to be incompetent. After their work started to get reviewed independently, the sheer volume of missed issues became impossible to justify, and this person was eventually quietly replaced. I love these stories of bosses, cracking the whip, to be sure employees work their assigned 8 hours. And then get screwed when they realize their staff was far more efficient before they were forced. To work a, conventional, schedule. Karma can be a nasty bitch. More events like this taking place and maybe the, work from home, model will be implemented more. Broadly. I'm fine with offices and buildings being present. But if you can expand staff and cut costs by having people work at home there's honestly no reason not to do that. COVID showcased it was 100% possible. Tube Day V starts? 
Love when micromanagers get exposed. Had one where half the staff left within six months of her starting. Made Excel spreadsheets of all our daily tasks and we had to check off work as we did it. I'm pretty sure all she did was monitor the spreadsheet and go on 11 meetings with us to talk. Through our completions. Microshman. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.